Welcome back to the IELTS Secrets Podcast, where we are dedicated to helping you excel in your speaking and writing skills for the IELTS exam. I'm your host, Neil, an IELTS instructor from New Zealand, and today's focus is on leaving with friends. Let's dive into four common questions you might encounter in part three of the speaking section, along with the importance of using specific speaking templates to structure your responses effectively. Question one, do you live along with friends or with family? Why? When answering this question, it's crucial to clearly express your current living situation and the reasons behind it. You can use a speaking template like this. I'm currently living with. In fact, I have been living. Now, let's hear a band nine response based on this template. Do you live alone with friends or with family? I am currently living with two close friends in a cozy apartment downtown. In fact, I have been living with them for the past two years since we all moved to the city for work. Living with friends not only helps us split the rent and utilities, making them more affordable, but it also creates a supportive and relaxed environment where we can share experiences and create lasting memories together. Question 2. What are some of the advantages of living with friends? Highlighting the positive aspects of living with friends is essential here. Use a template like this. One of the biggest pros of living with friends is What's also great is that Now, let's listen to a band 9 response. What are some of the advantages of living with friends? One of the biggest pros of living with friends is the sense of companionship and camaraderie it brings. Sharing a living space with people you trust and enjoying spending time with them can significantly enhance your overall quality of life. What's also great is that you can divide household chores and responsibilities, making it easier to manage day-to-day -day tasks while enjoying each other's company. Question 3. What are some of the disadvantages of living with friends? Being able to discuss potential drawbacks is crucial for a balanced response. Use a template like this. The thing that can be really annoying is that. What can also be disappointing is that. Now let's listen to a Ben Nye response. What are some of the disadvantages of living with friends? The thing that can be really annoying is that conflicts or disagreements may arise over trivial matters, such as cleanliness or noise levels. What can also be disappointing is that sometimes personal boundaries may be unintentionally crossed, leading to moments of tension or discomfort. However, open communication and mutual respect can help address these challenges effectively. Question 4. What are some of the things that can break a friendship? Identifying potential friendship breakers is important here. Use a template like this. While, if, then, for example, could have done or might have been. I would hope that all parties involved would. Now, let's listen to a Ben Nye response. What are some of the things that can break a friendship? Well, if conflicts are not addressed promptly and respectfully, they can escalate and strain a friendship. For example, if one friend consistently fails to contribute to household chores or disregards shared agreements, it could lead to resentment and ultimately break the friendship. I would hope that all parties involved would communicate their expectations clearly from the beginning to avoid misunderstandings. Dear IELTS candidates, remember to use these templates to structure your responses effectively. Record your answers and send them to our website for expert evaluation and personalized feedback. That's all for today's episode of the IELTS Secrets Podcast. Keep practicing and stay tuned for more tips and strategies to ace your IELTS exam. Until next time, happy studying.